What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I made $3,000 selling vapes in under a month. So this started in February of last year. All my friends were going on a trip to Cuba um, and I really wanted to go. I just did not have the money, so I needed to find a way to get that money. At the time I was working at Best Buy and I wanted to just increase my hours to make the money that I needed, but I wanted to maybe think of a quicker alternative. So in my grade 12 year, uh, I noticed that vaping was gaining a lot of popularity. It was huge amongst uh, high school students. And there was one very popular vape. Uh, it was called the Stick, the Smog Stick V8. And I was just doing a little bit of research one day. I wanted to find out how much that cost, like the manufacturer price. So I looked up on AliExpress how much it would be. And then I came across this one website called DHgate. On DHgate, I found that it is significantly cheaper, but you need to buy a lot more. So the minimum order for those vapes, at, I think it was about $18 Canadian, you needed to buy 15 of them. So at the time, these vapes were retailing for about $70, and on DHgate, I was able to get them for about $18. So I saw about $15, $15 profit in there, and I knew the demand was there. I've seen people buying these vapes every single day. So I called up a buddy of mine and we ended up just taking the risk and splitting the money on, I think we ordered 20 at first. So after placing the order on DHgate, I was just kind of nervous at first. So I wanted to make those sales before the vapes even came in. So I did that by just contacting friends that I knew would be interested. And I made a couple ads on Leko and Kijiji. And those are basically just local sale um, apps to resell stuff. So after messaging friends and making those ads, I actually got a lot of interest on both Leko and Kijiji. I sold a couple to my friends already. They, some of them even paid me beforehand. About a week later, they all came in and I actually ended up selling them all in just one day. In that one day, we made over $600 and with so many more people interested, we saw that as an opportunity to order even more. So with that money that we made from the first order, we put some of that back in, ordered, did another order of 20, made that money back in about one or two days once they came in, and then we did that one more time. Um, around that time of our third order, a new vape came out called the Smock Mag, uh, Mag Kit, and that one was gaining, I saw that it was gaining a lot of hype. A lot of my friends were telling me that they wanted to buy it, but I just wasn't sure if I was able to get it. After doing some research, I found that I can get it on DHgate for about $50 Canadian. It was a little bit more of an investment. So we decided to order just 10 of them at about $40 each, um, but we were able to sell them for uh, I think about $120 Canadian and they were actually retailing for 150. So I told my friends that I can get it and I can sell it to them for cheaper if they just wait a week, just cause it takes a little bit longer to come in. When the megs came in, we sold them fairly quickly, about two or three days. Um, we sold them for $120 each, and we had 10 of them, so that was about $1,200 minus the $400 it costed us. Uh, so we made about $800 there. Uh, we made our money, we made the $3,000 between the two of us. I needed $1,500 for Cuba. So around that time, we also kind of noticed that the trend was dying, and um, I, had, I had enough, I had all the money that I needed, and I didn't want to lose anything. So we just called it after that. All right guys, so I'm trying to wrap this up. I really wanted to just share that video with you to show you that it's not super complicated to make fast money. Um, if you have the right product, you're getting it for the right price and you're presenting it to the right people, you can easily make that money. You do have to put in work, like it did require some work. I had to meet people. I had to spend my own money. I had to take risks, but I promise you it is all worth it. So guys, what I did is not really an effective way of earning money long term. It's more of following trends. So I saw that it was popular. I knew that there was a huge demand for it and I was able to get it for a very good price. So I knew that I would make that money, but it's kind of like, it's kind of like me trying to sell fidget spinners now. Like if I ordered a bunch of fidget spinners on DHgate for like 50 cents a piece, I'm not going to be able to sell them because people don't use them anymore. So. That's just, that just gives you kind of a pr the perspective of trends. If you see something that is trendy and it's coming up really fast, then it may be an opportunity for you to jump on something and do something similar to what I did, but it is not a long-term way of making money. 
Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and if you have any stories you want to share with us, drop a comment down below. Woo! <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So we started a Facebook group for entrepreneurs. Uh, if you guys want to share some of your stories or maybe get some advice from people in the community, uh, go check it out. We'll have the link in the description. And yeah, take it easy.